Hey everyone, Matt Pasarsik from Razor Emporium today, diving into the Razor archives once again to talk about an exciting series of razors you may have seen called the Gillette Pocket Editions. Now, these Pocket Edition razors came out um, in the late 1910s, like 1907, 1908 ish, um, and they lasted until end of the teens, 1918, 1919, right before the beginning of the new improved razors. Now, these razors are all going to feature a uh, old type style guard, meaning it's going to be a curved guard like this with the three hole kind of uh, blade alignment system and an open comb guard. Uh, they're all going to be three piece style razors. And in fact, this was Gillette's first kind of dive into the idea of a three piece razor, which I know we think today is so common, but it really wasn't. This was it. This is the beginning. And Gillette liked this concept so much that you could completely take apart the razor and store it that they called it the pocket edition. Why? You may ask. Because you could take this and put this into your vest pocket. You could travel with this. You can get on a railroad car. You could go cross country and you have a barber shop in your pocket. In fact, the advertisements in that day spoke to that. Now, these razors were just a standard Gillette kind of comb guard razor. Um, and they came in many different patterns, many different sets. Um, there are different designs. Uh, they have very, very ornate, neat designs. This is the floral here. There's also the shell, kind of like a Roman column, the scroll, and one I do not have in front of me is the empire, but you can actually see that empire pattern on this case right here. Very ornate pattern. Um, all these kind of represent a turn of the century kind of Victorian, almost Art Nouveau kind of look. Uh, this is an era in history where consumerism is starting to take off. People are starting to have more money to buy things. Um, and Gillette actually worked with American button company, ABC, to produce these, these razor sets. Uh, and that's who actually who did this ornate kind of casting work like this on these handles. Um, the sets come in a couple of different variety of cases. There's kind of this thicker style case like this, and there's this thinner style case like this. You can see the difference right there. They had different plating options. Uh, they had gold, silver, and gunmetal. This is actually the harder to find one. Um, and the, the razors themselves were also offered in a gunmetal. I haven't seen any of those in a long time, but you do come across them here and there. Um, uh, anywho, these, these razors are, in my opinion, a kind of a, a special period of time for Gillette because it's just after the infancy, you know, we got to keep in mind uh, Gillette had just started in 1904 and uh, these are just, you know, a few years into the business, but they were already showing that they were creating something beautiful. They were creating something different and unique, the fact that it was kind of a, a portable travel thing. Um, Gillette was always trying to do what was new, what was different, what was going to be in vogue, what was going to get their razors to be used all the time. Because do not forget, their business was always selling the blades. Um, and that's what these canisters are. If you come across these canisters, they are blade banks. Uh, the, the sets like this will feature the style with the little locking tab on the top. Uh, there is a little kind of strike area down here. Some people like to imagine that this is for striking a match. It very well may be, but I think it's a little more probable that it's just kind of a grip to hold on to the case. It's kind of you know, maybe slippery. But um, yeah, often hear all the time these are Zippo lighters or something to that effect. Uh, the ABC se series from Gillette, in terms of its price, uh, when these were being sold in the uh, you know, turn of uh, 1907, 1910, 1912, whatever, these sold for around $5. They had other options that went up to $750. That would be the equivalent today, in today's dollars, of between $60 to $90 US. So it's certainly not a cheap set. 
Um, you can imagine going out and spending that much on a razor today. That's going to be, you know, more expensive than Edwin Jagger or Mercur. It's going to be a little bit of an investment. But these razors were obviously made to last, made out of solid brass, stamped, even serial numbered. So you can actually find out the date of your ABC by looking on the guard, and you'll see the, uh, the letter code and number here. And we have a chart on GilletteDateCodes.com where you can actually translate that and figure out the year of production on your set. In terms of rarity or collectability, um, certainly because these razors are kind of a unique set and unique period of time, I would consider them more valuable than, let's say, a simple um, three-piece ball-end razor that came out later towards World War I era. Um, but still not as collectible as, let's say, uh, a toggle or a bottom dial fat boy. Uh, I would give them on a scale of one to super common, find them in, in an antique store, to five, it belongs in a museum, something you'll ever come across once in your life. I would say these are dead in the middle at somewhere like maybe a two and a half or three. Certainly adding different elements to the, to the piece like this uh, in my set here, I have these inspector's tickets and pack, packer's tickets. Uh, I even have the original purple cotton sleeve that went around it and even the box, that's gonna add value. Uh, certainly just the razor and the case loose by itself or if you have you know any uh, missing items, it's gonna be less valuable. It's also one more important note I wanted to, to uh, mention. There's, there's a couple different guard features. You'll see that some of these guards have kind of more of a sawtooth, almost kind of a soft rounded look versus some have more of this really squared off clean uh, looking comb. So those are some different uh, kind of features there. Um, some of these sets were made by, exclusively by uh, American Button Company in their, in their factories. Um, and Gillette just did some of the stamping. Some were made by Gillette later on that had nothing to do with ABC, but still kind of kept the same patterns. So definitely an interesting period of time. I hope today's video has been insightful. Uh, while well, we're looking at the ABC American Button Company uh, Pocket Edition sets. Stay tuned to Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving, and we will see you next time.